everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I am going to check to make sure you can hear me. I think you can hear me. We are good. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful Wednesday Yay, today and um, ready to take on this day, ready to get into action. Um, every day, I'm Heather, and every day, Monday through Friday, we do come to you live, uh, where we do come to you and um, and talk Luminous. So it is a way for, uh, hey, Martin, it's a way for you to get to know Luminous, see how it's applied, um, ask questions, all of the above. And so it's a super opportunity just to, to even talk with other users um, know that you're not alone. If you're having any issues, problems or anything like that, you can bring them up. You'll hear from other people as well. Um, and then we'll solve those problems for you. Now, if you think you need a little more help, if you click the link below in the description, you can book a small, uh, group class and we max it out at 10. Usually very rarely do we have 10, but, um, it, it is a, another way of getting to know how to airbrush um, I go over uh, some more tips and tricks on how to understand it. Um, everybody leads happy about it and has a better handle on it. So that's another great way to learn. So hello, Jeannie. Hello, Stephanie. Good morning. Good morning. So one question I do get whoa in those classes quite a bit is what do I put on? What, where do I go to first? What do I do? I'll, so we're going to go over all of that. I'll even go into some of the extra products that you may have, um, and we'll cover that as well. So we always like to cover the beginnings, the kit itself. Now, this is the icon. We also have the icon pro and the legend. And uh, of course, now we have Bobbery. And so we will, um, <clears throat> excuse me, We um, the Breeze is our newest one. It is um, chargeable, cordless, it's amazing. Uh, very easy to use. All of our systems are super easy to use, uh, but they all come with makeup. So it all comes with everything you see here, two bottles of similar in color foundation, plus love and blush. Now the love you might not use every single day. That is a highlighter or a, I don't necessarily call it a highlighter. It's more of like a gives your skin luminosity. And then the blush is something that you are going to lightly put on because our blush does bloom. It comes out. It intensifies a little bit more after you put it on. And then I feel like I have something in my tooth. Um, these are the steps that I want you to take when first starting out. So you definitely want to hold this four finger widths away from your face. Keep it moving around. Bam, 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 bam. And then you want to lightly pull back on this trigger. This is what releases the makeup, and this is you want to barely move it. Okay, now a lot of people put this on when they get it home, like traditional makeup. They're excited about it. We know this is a different way of applying it, but they still apply it and push down all the way on the trigger with their hand or with the, all the way down on the trigger, and it's just wet. It should never feel wet, sticky, anything like that. So make sure you are doing this correctly okay oh, okay i was off the notifications um oh you do well marilyn i actually started late so you probably that's probably right <clears throat> um can you airbrush eyeshadow and make it look like traditional eyeshadow most definitely you can but are you asking me to do that? <laughs> Which I can. Hola, Stephanie. How are you? Um, everything in Queen customer service is in me new. Yay. Yay. Um, I like the breeze better than the others. I don't care for the size as much. Ah, see, everybody switching over to the breeze. They love the breeze. Um, Marilyn, no, I don't believe if it's still in your work, just call customer service, hon. Call customer service and they can um, look up your account. So we can, uh, and they'll take care of you, I'm sure. Uh, all right. So I am going to use the breeze. I did charge my guy because it went out on me yesterday. Um, 
Oh, you don't get the same kind of look. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me see what I have real quick. Uh, that's the pearl, but it's this one. Bronze all. Let me see what I have, and I can see about doing it. Well, this one is. I got some purples. I got some latte. Maybe we can do. Maybe I'll do a natural one with the latte and espresso. Okay, let me keep those on. All right. All right, here we go. Um, so let's talk about the order of things. All right. Um, when doing this, after you've practiced, good morning, Andrea. After you practice and after you do, um, you know, keep watch the distance, keeping it moving. You're never in one spot twice. It's also not fast. The moves are very delicate, very um, intentional. Just like if you were buffing some foundation on or however, um, you want to take that, um, you know, get that pattern down. It will become second nature to you. You don't even have to think about it, but it is important. Yesterday, I used Velvet Veil. Some of you have received this. Good morning, Amber. Some of you do have Velvet Veil. This is a primer. Good morning, Debbie. Um, this is a primer. It is a, um, it's a, like I said yesterday, it's a blur. So it's going to help blur fine lines, wrinkles, crinkles, redness. Um, you can put it all over. You can put it in spots. It doesn't matter. But a little bit goes a long way. So don't overdo it. And then you will also want to make sure that you um, apply airbrush over that. It does not work well with traditional makeup because it just gets stuck and you don't want to apply it. Um, can you tell that I use my tanning tonic? I, I'm like, I keep looking at myself going, oh, I look so tan. I love it. Love it. Um, let's see. Cindy. Hello. New to Luminous. Hello, Cindy. Uh, sometimes I have an orange tint to my skin after the makeup application. Am I using too much foundation? I've been messing with it and still has a, that hit. So Cindy, um, we don't call it messing. We call it practicing. Okay. I'm just kidding. We do call it practicing. Um, and, uh, and I'm glad you're still practicing with it. So anytime I hear the words, oh, you look, you know, I feel like I look orange or anything like that. You're spraying too hard. Um, so go back to the basics, the beginnings, make sure that you are keeping it four finger widths away and lightly pulling back on that trigger. Cindy, if, if you have, or anybody who has the breeze, if there's not a big difference between here and here, you'll never be here unless you're cleaning it. So you are going to just barely, barely, barely pull back. It should not even feel wet or sticky. So make sure that you keep it moving. Not this and not this. Because we're not painting a fence. But the moves are very, and don't do tiny circles like that. I mean, you're going to do bigger circles, T-zone up and down. But just keep practicing. Another way to practice, um, even without the foundation, is put water in here and airbrush water on your face. The water is going to weigh heavier than the makeup. And so what that does is it, um, and if you can airbrush that on and your face isn't running down with water, then you have a better handle on it. Okay. So I took my velvet veil out, put some underneath my eyes. When I washed my face, um, last night, I was like, Oh, I love me some velvet veil. Good morning, Delbert. How are you? Good to see you, darling. Everybody's saying hi to Luminous. Get my 11-ish. It's now this line that I have to get fixed. And notice, like, I kind of put it into place and then tap it. I, like, slide it on and then tap it into place. And then now before applying this, yes, you're going to want to um, get, put a moisturizer on, whether it's the airbrush, whether it's your own, if you're using your own, make sure it's oil free. Um, you have been busy, Delbert. I haven't seen you in a while, um, but just make sure it is oil free. And then you can go into either airbrushing or the velvet veil. 
So once the velvet veils on, your skin does feel like velvet. Uh, it feels really soft, but you can see, and if you didn't see this, I did my hand yesterday where I did one hand and you could definitely tell the difference. It was awesome. And thank you. Two reasons, three reasons. I did my tanning tonic. Everybody looks better with a tan. And I just put on my velvet veil, which also helps blur fine lines, wrinkles and crinkles. And because I airbrush. Airbrushing guys, think about this. Um, because Anne, let me just tell you, no, my skin is not great. <laughs> so I'm just being real. Um, I have a lot of broken capillaries around here. Uh, my nose gets red. I have dark circles around my eyes and on my lids. Um, and so if you think about that, uh, let me check guys. I know everybody's asking about the velvet bell right now. Let me check real quick. Um, but Guys, think about this. The fact that we are not touching our face when we apply the makeup, that is going to help you. Nope, it's in. It is laying. Uh, yeah, it's under customer face. If you type in Velvet Veil, it's, um, there's Velvet Veil. But then there's also Prime and Perfect, which is $55, and you get the Velvet Veil plus the final seal, the aerosol one. That, um, so, yeah, it shows that it's in stock. Hold on. Let me add it to my bag. No. Let me see this one. Uh, Prime and Perfect. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, little sister. Can I add that? It might be out of stock, babe. Okay, so I will check on that. Um, I will check on it. Um, and see when we can get that. Um, hello, Elena Marie. How are you? Um, I'll check on the velvet veil. All right, so... And like, I guess I need velvet. Velvet Veil is amazing. So when it does come in stock, I highly recommend it. Um, even wait till it goes on sale if you want to. But a little bit goes a long way. Like I said, I don't even use the dropper. I just lightly pat it on um, and go from there. Okay. So <clears throat> in your starter kit, you receive two bottles of foundation, love and blush. So I'm actually going, some of you did receive some uh, pre-coverage and pre-coverage is any kind of um, product I want to airbrush on before putting my foundation on. Now, a couple of ways to look at this. So a lot of you maybe have eraser, um, which is our lightest in coverage and it comes just like this. When you first start out, what I recommend is getting a CC concealer. Reason being, it is the highest in coverage and you're like, well, Heather, I don't need that much. That's okay um, because I feel like it's the easiest to use because it comes in five different shades and you can get one closer to your face, your face shade, okay? So that way when still learning to apply it, you can apply it and you don't have to worry about it coming out too white or anything like that. I'm actually going to use, um, oh, I don't know if I have it. I'll use eraser just to show you. I was going to use glow because I love glow, but I can kind of use eraser the same way. Um, I'm going to put eraser underneath my eyes down, you know, this area. Um, I just find, and this is just me personally, um, when... And I didn't clean this one yesterday. Uh -oh. um, when you're learning to apply it, because it because the velvet veil will be so, um, I mean, I'm sorry, the CC concealer will be closer to your skin color. Um, again, it'll just be, a, I feel a little bit easier to use. Does that make sense than to worry about something being too white? Um, now, the other aspect of that, actually, as I'm thinking about this, um, if you already received eraser, and I'll do this, I'm going to put, I'm going to put two drops 
put ah, one drop just missed. I put two drops of eraser and then my shades, let's, I'm going to put a drop of two because I'm a three. Um, I'm going to put a drop of two in with eraser to make it more flesh color. So you could do that as well. If you already have eraser, put a couple of drops. I put both of them right in here. I'm turning my system on, blocking the air, and then lightly pulling back and see how it's bubbling. That's mixing that in together. Leave, leave the lid up so you can see it bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. And then I'm ready to go. Um, what does it, you know what? Usually, um, the, usually it's color corrector. Um, but I don't know what this one stands for. It, it's, uh, we do have color, cor I don't want it to be confusing because we do have color correctors, but they are prism color correctors. Um, what's the difference between velvet veil and pre-coverage? Velvet veil is, is um, there's no color to it. So um, if the velvet veil works for your pre-coverage, then that's all you need to use. It is a primer. So if you're just blurring fines, wrinkles, crinkles, redness, and the velvet veil works, then you can go straight and keep on applying the makeup. You don't have to do pre-coverage. Okay. Um, Make sure I answered all the questions. All right. So now I have my pre-coverage, which is eraser and a couple of drops of a foundation. I'm going to start underneath my eyes, lightly spray. Okay. That's one pass. Do I want more coverage? Oh, yeah. But that's one pass. I can go down my nose, T-zone area. I'm breaking out like right here. But the velvet veil, the tanning helps kind of hide that a little bit as well. So, and that's I'm going to coverage until I'm going to find out when um, the velvet veil. Let me text a friend. <laughs> let me text a friend and find out. Velvet. Veil. Let me do it this way. Velvet veil coming in stock. Okay, we'll find out. Now I'm going to finish my coverage, but you can already, because I was so tan, you can already see that this is starting to lighten up, starting to soften. Uh oh, my thing went out again. Um, she said it is in stock. Um, when added to bag. Okay, well, check in just a few because she's saying it is. Okay, so I just did the passes. So you can see that it did lighten underneath. It gave me my coverage that I want. And now I'll move on to the next step. Now this, hey, Pam, did I say hi already? Um, the next step moving forward would be blush. Now I know this throws people off. You're like, uh, you didn't apply your foundation. I do blush first because I like a softer blush. I like a softer blush, a... Um, not as severe. Let me pop this off. And I'm using plum because plum is one of our darker shades, but not, it's a deeper shade, I guess, not really a darker shade. And, um, it, but anybody can still wear that. Now I'm going to apply that to my cheek area.
Now, when, hey, Maria, um, when applying the blush, you, you can come in till about three fingers. And just remember that practicing using the air is going to help you, okay? Because that is going to help you know where the makeup's going. Wherever you feel the air is where the makeup goes. And I kind of like to do a little color around. Bright. can go in with my foundation which i'm going in uh, why is hold on i'm gonna take my feet off the counter maybe i'm shaking it and it's moving so now i'm applying maybe just five drops of foundation starting in one spot i'll start making my passes Okay, that's one pass. A little bright for me, and so I'm going to make another pass there. And there we go. Okay, soft it softened it so what happens is the blush or the foundation airbrush goes on like little dots boop, 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 little pixels all over the face and so what you're doing is just filling in that space so the passes that you make are going to give you cover or giving you that coverage and so it's not like traditional makeup where you're layering it layering it layering it layering it layering it. it's not like that you are going um um you're just filling in the space that's why it does work with your skin now you can finish that by putting you can use a, um the airbrush blonde airbrush bronzer or i'm going to use the cut one palette and i brush through all of them boop, 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 boop. And I'm just going lightly. Underneath that blush and then blending out my neck and then a little. And then I can still take there is a shimmer in here. This top whoop, top one here is a shimmer. And I can lightly put that on just to give it a little more oomph if I wanted to. Or obviously you can do love in those same areas that I put on. Now love, I would do, um, Andrew said, I thought primer was pre-coverage. Primer is your primer. Primer is, is get to the you know, have the makeup stay on longer. It doesn't give you any coverage. It's not going to give you any coverage. And so, um, so it's, it's, it's oh, you do both airbrush and, hmm, that seems like a lot, but that's, if, hey, if it works for you, good. All right, eyes real quick. And this is Latte. And I just need a couple of drops. I don't need a lot. Turning my system on, making sure that's the color I'm getting. I'm now going to do this on my lid. Again, I'm going to come in closer. Um, I'm going to come in closer. Size it is okay, but I'm still making those movements and actually the application and how you're moving this is exactly how you would if you were using a brush. Okay, um, let me get up, up close. 
supposed to be there so I can see. And then let's say that first application maybe looks a little spotty. The first time you try it, you can just tap it and you're good to go. It'll tap it right into place. And then if you need to make another pass, you can. Okay, so that's. Get that out. I'm going to do this real quick. On, guys i know i don't know i took <laughs> i took my feet off the camera maybe i'm shaking it up but i what's going on all right so now i'll put a couple of drops of the bronzer brown color make sure that's the color i'm getting and then i'm going to do this on the outside corner and then blend it in. Still making those same movements like I would um, anything else or with traditional. And then I'll go over here. Notice how I just keep going back and forth. This is blending. Now I'm taking my hand off the trigger. I'm using the air just to dry it a little bit because I'm only focused on this area right here. So it is going to, um, it, it will be a little bit wet, even though you're spraying super, super light. Then you can move that around, keep blending, see if there's any harsh lines I need to blend out. Now, the other great thing about this is like I did have a harsh line or something. You Real quick, because it should dry pretty fast, you could take a blending brush and blend that, okay? If blending with the airbrush yet, you can do that with a brush if you need to in the beginning, like very quickly, all right? Now... Again, I'm good with this mascara, done. But if I want to take it up a notch, I can add a little bit of black. I'm like looking to see if my, the if it's a bad um, connection. I don't know why it's why because I it, I saw that yesterday too, and I was like, Ur. okay. So now I did black, and I'm just gonna go boop right there. And this part you can definitely blend out if you need to with a brush while you're perfecting it. Okay. But see how just that little pop of color. Just steps it up a little bit more, just a little bit more. And then add mascara and you're done. You're done. You're done, you're done, you're done. Um, I can go in. Let's add Ballet Pink. That's so weird. I'm gonna, I'll have him check it. I don't know. And then adding mascara, and then I'm good for the day. So, all right, guys, I'm going to add my own mascara offline because uh, I hate that this is messing up. I can tell everybody's dropping off. So we are good for today. Come back and see us tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a